What's up, Bushwick? <laughs> I'm Ray. I'm Candace. And this is Unpacking Coffee. Today, City of Saints. Saints in the city. Saints in the city. Saints in the city. City of Saints. This is some kick ass coffee. Can I say kick ass here? No. Is it okay? I can't. Oh, you just bumped us this up to is, um, explicit. This is a fantastic coffee. Is that? No, that's boring though. It does kick ass. City of Saints is located in New York City. They uh, started by roasting in the pulley. Um, so they got their start, yes, in the pulley collective. And we've heard about the pulley collective previously with Joe Coffee. They oh, also. Sure. Joe of New York. Joe came out of the Pulley Collective. They're considered one of the big success stories of the Pulley Collective because this is a place where you can go and you can roast coffee. Three years later, they have three locations and a roastery and they're killing it. They got this really kick-ass roaster. The Loring Roaster? Yes. 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 That looks really cool. Research Ray. You just told me before the show, I just remembered what you said. <laughs> so it's cool, and they've been opening up their space to uh, other people to come in and roast too, so they're, they're being good community members. So we spoke to Joe Pelosi from City of Saints. Joe's gonna tell us about how they got started. Uh, my name is Joe Pelosi, and I'm Director of Operations of Saints Coffee Roasters. Joe started as a roaster, okay. but he has blossomed into an everything guy. And so I think other people are roasting now. It started as a takeaway coffee shop and then uh, decided to become a vertical, integrated coffee roasting facility. This coffee roaster in particular is all about community. When I see them talking in interviews, they use the word camaraderie a lot. They use the word community. Mm -hmm. Cha-ching, cha-ching, those are there. If you're playing coffee roaster bingo, you already have. It's interesting that compared to the roasters that we've talked about recently, whose packaging was kind of minimal and mm -hmm. who felt that the space would sort of speak for itself um, mm -hmm. and the coffee would sort of, the, the approach here with City of Saints is almost the opposite. Uh, these are literal representations of what's inside the space. If you look inside the, the City of Saints spaces like this is the graffiti on the wall like you can't mistake those spaces from the, they're, they're, they're indistinguishable from the coffee packaging itself which is kind of so this art is by um Dasik fernandez and okay. uh a fellow that goes by the name of mr nerds and they uh they came from the bushwick collective so the okay. bushwick collective is a group that's been painting murals all over the area. And so the Bushwick is starting to have this really particular look. Criminals. So I'm have a little party here in the community, paint some walls. The whole community came out. The artist painting on the walls was just, it was a great experience. I woke up the next day like I took a pill and I felt happy like I was a kid again. That party was great and it symbolized everything that I wanted. It was everything I had lost, which was family, you know? One thing led to another, and we ended up, I ended up falling in love with, with, with street art and graph, and I ran with it. City of Saints got a hold of them and asked them to paint the interior of their space and started using the art too, so that's another way that they're really supporting the community. So the, um, the, the packaging is interesting um, in that it's just these, these giant cardboard boxes with like cellophane bags with the one-way vent inside. No coffee inside. inside. They <laughs> did have coffee inside. When we were deciding on what we wanted to do for our box design, um, we've got these two great Bushwick Collect murals on our walls. And I said, well, why don't we just make walls the box? Um, since they're already in a pretty good uh, dimension, you know, uh, aspect ratio. I was like, we just take these and get them to go. I love how most of the information is on the bottom here, and then they take all of this space to mm -hmm. show the art. I mean, it's it's fantastic. They're not even covering it up in the end, in the back, on the back end. The back end's fine. There's so much to be said about the way that art 
kind of supports a, a community, and I think that City of Saints is really into that. So we brought in Portland's own Matt Wagner. I'm Matt Wagner. I own Hellion Gallery. I write art books, the Tall Trees of series. I'm one of the producers of the Forest for the Trees Mural Festival here in Portland. So Matt Wagner puts on um, a, a curated citywide show called the Tall Trees of Portland, oh. where he brings in mural artists from all over the world and businesses and spaces donate walls and the artists come in and, and create the murals. And instead of having these buildings with these like blank walls or like really crappy graffiti on it, these businesses get to interact with an artist and have like, you know, like something beautiful on the outside of their building. City of Saints of Bushwick in Brooklyn in New York City in New York in the United States, planet Earth. 